This is a review for Harry Movie Club, and it is Disney Week, and this week we were asked to watch the 2012 movie Wreck-It Ralph. This is the animated film. We start off with a narration by John C. Riley, who plays our title character, Ralph, and he is part of a video game called Fix-It Felix Jr. He's a bad guy in the game where he destroys a building and Felix fixes the building. If you play Felix and win, you get a medal. And Ralph doesn't like this because he never gets a medal. And he finally goes to a bad guy video game support group and airs his frustrations. They keep telling him not to do anything rash. But he does anyways and breaks out of the game. It's not his first choice. He tries to get along with the uh, good guys, but they don't like him because he doesn't have a medal. Only good guys get medals. And he vows that one day he will get a medal and come back. So he breaks out of the game, goes to a bar, and finds out about a game called Hero's Duty, where all he has to do is climb a building and get a medal. He does it all the time. But when he gets to the game, it's a little intense. There's killer bugs everywhere. He's a 30-year-old game. He's not used to all this brand new technology. And he freaks out. And the game gets turned off. But while the game is off, he climbs up the building, grabs a medal, and in his celebration, he accidentally steps on a bug, falls into a spaceship, and is shot into another game called Sugar Rush. From here on out, we are in Sugar Rush for most of the movie, dealing with the politics of that game and how all the mysteries going on around. Meanwhile, we do see Jane Lynch's character a little bit. She's in Hero's Duty. She's the lead character in that. And she's trying to find the bug that Ralph accidentally let out of the game into Sugar Rush before it destroys the game. And other than her, the entire movie is crap from here on out. Because it becomes Sarah Silverman's movie. I can't stand Sarah Silverman. I have no idea how she has any fans there's there's comedians that are funny. There's comedians that aren't very funny. And then there's Sarah Silverman, who is just pathologically unfunny and hard to watch, just brutally murdering comedy as an art form. And that's the last 70 minutes of this movie. It's just horrible joke after horrible pun. And it is brutal. Oh, and horrible fart jokes and childish humor and more fart jokes and convoluted storylines that make no sense. There is a little bit of storyline in it that's kind of interesting about what's really going on. And Sarah Silverman's character named Vanellope is a glitch. She's a broken character in the game and the mystery behind why she's broken and whether she's supposed to be in the game or not is kind of interesting, but the bad jokes just wear it down too much. I've actually seen quite a few reviews for this movie back when it came out. And they all had the same complaint. Well, other than Sarah Silverman is an annoying piece of trash, kill it, kill it with fire. Uh, they had another complaint. And that is that the trailer lied to us. The trailer in America did not show anything other than the first 34 minutes of the movie. We had no idea this movie was about Sugar Rush. Uh, they have one throwaway joke. And that's it. The rest of the scenes are scenes from the beginning of the movie. So, apparently the guy who made the trailer agreed with me that there's nothing worth watching in the last two-thirds either. In Japan, on the other hand, they sold it as a Sugar Rush movie. 
and they were fully aware of what the movie was about. I don't know why they did that, because that's by far the weaker part of the movie, but at least they were honest. Overall, um, like I said, it's hard to do an overall because the movie splits so dramatically. The first 34, 35 minutes are throwbacks to original video games and telling you about the world and how the characters interact outside of video games and immerses you into the life. But then you hop into Sugar Rush and now it's politics of some little girl getting picked on for being different and it turns into a sad display of a teen movie d gone wrong. Only it's not, she's not even a teenager, she's like five and being picked on and but she's so annoying that you don't feel bad for her. Uh, the animation is great. Uh, they do a great job of the older video games having worse animation than the newer game, which is um, Hero's Duty. Jane Lynch does great in this. She's by far the best character in the movie. And I'd watch a Hero's Duty movie, a Jane Lynch movie way before I watch this again. Uh, her character is interesting. They point out she has a, the most tragic backstory ever written. How her husband-to-be was eaten by a bug at her wedding. and yeah, Everything with her in it is great. And then it disappears. It's just uneven. I wish it had been done better and done more of a callback like the beginning part of the movie tried to do. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was for Harry Movie Club by Mr. Harry Britt. I will put all that info down in the description. You can review movies. Tag it. He'll put it in his weekly reviews on Tuesdays and all that good stuff. Watch his channel for more instructions. As always, I shall try to do better next time.